Okay, so I got my hands on the 2018 June paper too. And uh, I hope this gives you some peace of mind because I know some of you might be stressing right now. We're going to start with question six. Question one was, it wasn't hard, but it was tedious. So that will be done a little later. It was not hard. It was just tedious. And you had to remember to follow the rules because you had to do three sig fig and you had to plot three sig fig. Anyway, let's stick with this question. So a thermometer is a commonplace technological tool used in our daily lives. Figure 6 shows one type of thermometer used in, electric, in electricity distribution. State the name of the parts labeled A, B, C, and D. So if you didn't study transformers, you could have still guess what was going on. You could have guessed some things, but pretty much you had to study to get through it. So A is the primary coils. because it's the first set of coils. B is the secondary coils. No, sorry. D, D is the secondary coils. So it's pointing to the coils there. So secondary coils. And then we have um, C, which is the alternating power source. Sorry, I can't find my famous blue pen. That's okay. And C, sorry, C is the alternating power source. See, so it's a good thing I have a pencil. And B is the soft iron core. Okay, so those were there. Identify the type of transformer shown in uh, figure six. So this is a step up. You have less voltage here and more voltage here. So this is a step up. Okay? It's a step up transformer. And easy way to remember it. Less coils to more coils is a step up, and more coils to less coils is a step down. State the formula that relates to V. State the formula that relates V to number of turns N in a transformer. Now v P over V S equal to N P over N S. So the voltage in the primary side divided by the voltage in the secondary side equal to the number of turns in the primary side to the number of turns in the secondary side. It says a transformer has 5,000 turns in its secondary coils. I'm going to start writing out up here um, these numbers because you probably have to use them. In secondary coil and 50 turns in its primary coil, so I'm going to put NP equal 50. And then it says the voltage supplied to its primary coil is 12 volts. So um, VP equal 12 volts and the current and the current of 6 amps flows in its primary coil so IP equal 6 amps calculate the input power of the transformer so that one will be P equals IV or PIV. So power equals IV 
we have i and we have v in the primary section so we could work out the power and that's this is the input side in the primary section is called the input side so we're good to go p equals to 6a times 12 v and let's put the zero point the point zero here right Maybe that so zero point zero v and that will give us 36.0 watts which is equivalent to 36.0 joules per second then we had to work out the voltage across the secondary coil so we have all of our stuff up there correct so we know NP over NS is equal to VP over VS so therefore VP sorry VS will be equal to NS times NP times VP over NP which will be equal to uh, we have NS which is 5000 we have VP which is 12.0 volts and they're right up there we are put them and we have NP which is 50 you cancel out this and this and this and this left back with 100 times 12 which is equal to 1200 volts and we can put it up here now that we found VS VS is equal to 1200 volts okay I'm mean, guessing that the next question can ask for current now. So it says the maximum secondary current, the one to find the maximum secondary current if the transformer is 100% efficient. So again, you would use some relationship VP over VS equal to IS over IP. And we want to find. IS. The IS is equal to VP IP over VS, which is equal to 12 volts times 6.0 amps over 1200 volts. These two go. Where do we get our numbers from? Straight from up here. So remember, NS is 5000. VP 12 and NP is 50. So we were able to put them. Sorry, remember. Oh, sorry. So remember that it's just a trying to get everything in. VP is 12, IP is 6, and VS is 1200. So we just, just got them from up here. And put them in here and that will give us 72 amps over 1200 which will be equal to 0 0.06 amps yeah so remember the relationship is such that you have the whole relationship is such that let me stick it up here somewhere NP over NS is equal to VP over VS which is equal to IS over IP so these two the primaries are the same and the same in the numerators for so NMV the primary values are in the numerators and the secondary values are in the denominators but for current 
the secondary value is in the numerator while the primary value is in the denominator. Hope this helps.